Our story starts in 1873 in a place not so far away, just up road in fact, when the Bradford and District Hospital Fund was founded with the purpose of raising money for local hospitals. In its first year, over £1,000 was raised and within five years, over £3,000 was being raised annually. In the 1930s, the fund moved from Horton Lane to Swan Arcade and was providing 40% of the income needed to run Bradford Royal Infirmary. Funds were raised in the mills and workshops, places of worship, in pubs and clubs, and from carnivals, galas and pantomimes. It really was a community-wide effort, with a dedicated team of volunteers to collect money. 1948 saw the introduction of the NHS and, following this, the fund continued to evolve. In 1965, the Shilling Scheme was launched, which formed the basis of today's sovereign healthcare cash plans. By this time, we are known as the Bradford Hospital Fund and located on Vicar Lane in Little Germany. Decimalisation in the 1970s meant the shilling scheme became the new five pence scheme and in 1973, our centenary year, we paid our members a record £300,000. That's £3.6 million in today's money. And 50 years ago, in this very month, two celebration dinners were held with a ballot for tickets. In 1976, the His and Hers Sovereign Plan was introduced and, in 1978, 12,000 people joined and 6,000 increased their contributions, showing the spirit of self-help was very much alive and well. In 1980, payments to members exceeded £1 million for the first time and the minimum subscription was doubled from 10 pence to 20 pence. In 1986, the Hospital Fund of Bradford changed its name to Sovereign Healthcare and, in 1994, we moved to a purpose-built site at Manningham Lane, overseen by then Chief Executive David Lewis. Russ Piper became Chief Executive in 2009 and the next custodian of Sovereign Healthcare. And here we are in 2023, now based at the waterfront in Shipley, serving over 67,000 customers and last year we paid out nearly £7 million in claims. Public health has changed dramatically over the decades and we are more relevant than ever in this cost of living crisis with access to healthcare, a challenge for many and we're proud that supporting our communities and the NHS remains a steadfast commitment.